Hi guys, it's me, Boog! And Dad! And today, we're gonna be reviewing, uh, we're continuing our Marvel Legends, uh, X-Men, Chaad Build-A-Figure series! Right, and this is our final video, uh, as far as the regular figures goes, then we'll have all pieces and we'll shoot one more video with Chaad, uh, by himself. And we, uh, today we have Marvel's Kid Omega and Marvel's Chamber. Marvel's Chamber. Okay, Kid Omega and Marvel's Chamber. So here's the box for Chamber. These are all, if you've probably already noticed, in uh, Hasbro's new, uh, what, plasticless packaging. So it's yeah. all cardboard, so you don't have the window to kind of see in. No! They did a pretty good job on the outside of kind of letting you know what you're getting them. And, uh, of course, everything that you got to have to do the Build-A-Fig. Um, and, uh, unfortunately, it's way too many pieces. Uh, but... It is what it is. <laughs> yeah, I, I'd like uh, DC, which really fits like both the arms in one packaging and both the legs in one packaging. Yeah, DC is so much, to me, is so much more fan friendly. <clears throat> I mean, they can do it all in uh, one one package and a lot of times for though, a cheaper price. Even though I will say this, Marvel does get a lot more char uh, characters and figures out for each wave. Yeah, that's true. That is true, too. Very, very true. So I guess it kind of depends how much you care about, you know, the different characters versus just getting to the build of thing. Unfortunately for us, most of the time, we're just trying to build a fix. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, if you're a fan of these characters, then of course it's important for them to put it out there because you obviously want uh, the figure too. Um, and some of them we do, don't get me wrong. Most of them, not so much. Anyhow, go ahead, Boo. Well, here's Kenny Omega's packaging. Wow, Kenny Omega looks completely different. It's not like Kenny Omega, that's AEW. Oh, Kid Omega, sorry. Yes. Yeah, my bad. All right, uh, give so us a minute, we'll get him out of the box. <laughs> Okay, we're back. All right, yes, we are back. So, uh, sorry, <laughs> I take them up. Um, good. Tell who, who we got. <laughs> so, it's okay. got Marvel's Kid Omega and Marvel's Chamber. Yes, so we have Kid Omega, not Kenny Omega. Um, do correct me. Yes. And Marvel's Chamber. Yes. All right. Um, not again, as usual, me and we were not too familiar with these characters. But uh, I will say that um, the chamber is pretty cool. From the waist up. Yeah, he's got a good look. I like the fire beard. It's pretty yeah. awesome. Just the ankles are cheeks. Yeah, not caring much for uh, for um, Kid Omega. Kid Omega at all. Did even, did they, did they did even give him trigger, trigger fingers for, for his blast here. Yeah, so he comes with a gun and, of course, with no trigger fingers. So we have to create our own. So yeah, what you see here is Boog's work on the hands to try to give him trigger fingers. Yeah. Um. And again, I'm trying to be I'm trying to be nice. Here are uh, here are the uh, other accessories. You get two fists and two fists. Yeah, and not hit on Hasbro. Yeah, we've but for a twenty five dollar figure, and then you see what DC is able to do. So actually, first I will say this before Dad gets into that uh, for this <laughs> yes. for this entire series. I'm trying not to rant. There is I'm trying, I'm trying. There is entire. This is entirely. Uh, <laughs> oh no, that's gone down. <laughs> yeah, so there are entirely for the entire series, there are three accessories, not counting interchangeable hands. Right. Which is pathetic. Yeah, yeah. Just another way it looks like Hasbro's trying to save the block. I don't completely blame it on Hasbro because I don't know. Maybe they have you know, dead, it's, um unleash yourself. It's a different yeah, it's, it's, uh, it's a different license, two totally different companies. Maybe they have a crap deal with Disney because Disney owns Marvel. And they're, you know, they're having to pay Disney a lot more uh, than maybe McFarlane plays Batman, so therefore they're having to do little with less. Um, but something's out of balance, because like I said, you watch what Mar McFarlane does with DC stuff, and the figures are bigger, you get more, and they cost less. And it's just like, you just feel like Hasbro is really, uh, you know, ripping folks off of this this whole situation here. Uh, or at least I do, like I said. And, and even looking at I don't, well, I don't want to get into this yet. I'll get to get the little figure. But anyway, back to these guys. Like I said, he's good. We'll, we'll talk about the top half. The top half with uh with um with him is is really cool. It's a very interesting yeah. figure. But talk about the problems. Uh, ankles. So he pretty much <laughs> cannot stand. Impossible for him to stand. He's, I'm pretty sure he's actually just leaning on Kid Omega to stand right now. And speaking of stands, that's another thing. Like he said, doesn't uh, have peg holes for the stands. Right, and not that you get one with, uh, well, actually, with the well, actually, because they don't do that, but of well, course, well, actually, McFarlane does. Well, actually, I will say this, he, he does, but they're just not deep enough at all. Yeah, to, to be able to use it. Yeah, they just got like, a, little, a little fraction of yeah, a we can't, we, we can't even use our DC stands. No. Um, so yeah, you get smaller figures with the, the Hasbro uh, line here, 
And of course, that leads to standing issues, uh, the smaller the figure is. And then, of course, you don't even get a stand with that. And of course, um, McFarlane gives you these giant figures and you get a stand with every one. So it's just, you know, it's just little stuff like that. You notice you're like, okay, Hasbro could do better. I feel like, I feel like, I feel like uh, at this point, we need to, we need to make a, a whole entire video on. Uh, yeah, I don't want to keep writing on. It's just every time we, you know, we like, we spent a whole day. Uh, day before yesterday, you're just doing nothing but DC figures. Yeah. So I guess that's stuck in my brain. Now so we switch back over to a Marvel set, and it's like the the notice the differences are just you know really glaring <laughs> when, oh, well, when you kind of have them side by side, you know, in front of each other. Um, you really really notice the difference. So. All right, we'll we'll wrap up this video. We'll save uh, Dad's ranting for for another. Yeah, video. yeah, yeah. Sorry. Let me go back. Let's go over this guy first. Give you a close up look. Uh, this is. Uh, who Omega Kid, Kid Omega Kid Omega and once again I did have to um, actually make the trigger figures because Marvel's too lazy to yeah. do it themselves and maybe these people got maybe he's got some fans out there I don't know I just I, I don't care for this or Hasbro yeah this figure too much at all so or I guess the character um, yeah I get Hasbro has to make whatever you know whatever character this is and that's it but yeah he's just pretty plain and not a whole lot to write home about um, I feel like in Marvel's line. We probably have thirty of these guys, at least with the same body sculpt, just yeah. different paint. Well, actually, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's actually one of the um, rare body body sculpts. It is. It does look like it has the butterfly joints, right? Yeah, correct on that. So there's that. That's good. That's a good thing. Um, and unfortunately, he's one of the only two figures that has them. Really? Yeah. And then of course, then we have. Let's see. Let's see. I can check if this guy has them. Okay, this guy does not have. Them. Right. Yeah. I mean, he's wearing a jacket, so I guess he won't. Now, what is he called? Who's this? Marvel's Chamber. And Chamber uh, looks really cool. I love the uh, black leather jacket. The detail on that is is really good. I think uh, the fire beard is awesome. Yes, Haircut's he good. The beard. They knocked all that out. Um, definitely not here just to bash on the Hasbro Marvel figures because I think there is a lot of good to them. We'll, we'll save that for a different video. Yeah. Dad's ranting. Right. Right. But like Boog said, uh, he has the what is it that the Swivel ankles, kind or of some ankles. kind of weird it's ankles or cheeks. Yeah, ball joint ankle, which is not no, very good. He's not, no, it's a, just a hinge ankle. The hinge ankle, which keeps him from standing. Plus, he's very top heavy because of all this plastic around his head. So that also helps to um, you know make him top loader when you try to stand him up. But I got it that time. Yeah. But all right. Well, uh, that's going to finish it up here for uh, these two. Yes. And next up, we'll have the Build a Chod video. Yes. So uh, make sure you stay tuned for that. And then after that, will probably be our, uh, our if Chod is impressed, it'll probably be our, uh, we'll probably call it like uh, our problem with, with uh, Hasbro Marvel Legends video or something. And just get all the raining out of the way. Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. See you in the next one, guys. So like and subscribe, everyone. Bye.